EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, kids. Let's work on some head movement and some punches. Slip the bag eight times. Slip six times. One punch. Okay, okay. Nice leans, kid. I punched. Okay, okay. That was nice leans, kid. Two times. Listen to me, kid. Listen to my call out. Slip six times. One punch! That was a nice five times. I punched great upper body movement, kid.
One punch. Nice work slipping the bag. Move out of the way four times. I... That was nice hustle, kid. Seven times. Ah, uh, come on, kid. I know you're faster than that. Four times. One punch. Next time, punch. Let's go, kid. Five times. Not bad. Focus on some techniques. Just a second, guys. I am trying to find Right now, I'm just OCD.
All right, fellas. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go.
All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. this fight. Go to the scorecards. You have to knock them out. It's the only way now. Let your hands go. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots.
All right, fellas. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go.
And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. When you're facing a guy who you know utilizes the hook well, what do you want to be conscious of? Well, you want to be conscious of range and distance. He has to get close. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand. Then he had solid. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Underway. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Irish. Good job on the two punch combo by Irish. A stinging uppercut by Irish. Johnson's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Combination to the head. Flush right hand to the head. Caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Irish's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And now he scores well with a straight right. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good double jab by Irish. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Johnston's buying himself some time. He was stunned earlier. Now another clinch. And he's diffusing himself right now by doing that clinching. And his opponent is taking advantage. A crushing two-punch combo by Johnston. action as he just ties relax. up. Come on now, relax. Deep breathe. That's it, just like that. <sighs> Last 10 seconds. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. There you go. And that's the end of round three. Good one, too, by Irish. Keep those hands up, baby. Keep those hands up. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Johnston. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He got 
got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Irish. Johnston's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Nice work. Nice work. Oh. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Johnson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a calculus major to score this one. Just put those... Let's, uh, let's see how you do with some spark.
do in the ring. Next time around, kid. everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana for tonight's main event. Six rounds of light heavyweight action. <laughs> Each man comes into this. <laughs> well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. <laughs> Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. He just missed that shot up top. I find it unrealistic that this guy's got much of a chance against this power puncher. Hey, that doesn't make you Notre Dame is there, Joe. Why is the hook, when done properly and when landed really well, one of the most dangerous punches in all boxing? Because the fighter who's fighting doesn't see it coming. You know, it requires good peripheral vision. It's coming from the side, not right down the middle. It's not coming in that front door. And when it hits... Fuller's hurt by a big shot. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Irish. Look at this swarming attack. Fuller's taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. Looks like my screen door on my back porch. I mean, the mosquitoes, there's so many of them. And there's little <laughs> holes. Some are getting through. Clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Good, solid right hand by Irish. And now he's targeting upstairs. Fuller is able to land a good, solid left hand. Ten clicks of the top. He's committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. I 
Irish's corner has to feel good about what they just saw. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see. That he, and now you see him scoring well with the right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Cracked by a right hand. Oh, he is stuck. He could go. What a big shot. Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy you see he comes over the top with that right hand a real solid shot <laughs> halfway through this round not what he was looking for that's a miss right there by irish good solid right hand lands He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can't. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. A stabbing right hand comes in by Irish. And now he's targeting upstairs. Irish, his right hand scores well. Final 10 seconds. And that's the end of round two. Fuller's corner has to come up with a game plan now. They need to advise their fighter as to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that, hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Irish is picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Comes right back with some offense of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Fuller's proving to be elusive. Scores well to the head with the right hand. just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. Strong right hand by Irish. Now Having put his opponent down on the canvas, he's already easily taken the first three rounds of this fight as we begin round number four, Teddy. Well, it has been easy for him because his opponent has no defense. He just walks in and he's eating punches. Fuller's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. 
you know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities. And he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Double up on your punches. <laughs> He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway through round number four. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Fuller's trainers are doing a good job, aren't they, Teddy? Carroll was rocked, but now look at him. Yeah, they're giving him the right advice. You know, they've made a little strategic change here, a little bit of an adjustment. That's what you like to see. Not just the fighter thinking, but the corner, the support team thinking. Keep moving, keep moving. Good two-punch combo by Fuller. That's a stinging right hand by Irish. Able to show you his blocking ability. Get your hands up. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Hey, Gotta do. love the work by Irish. But I won't. And round five comes to an end. You sit ringside long enough and you get a sense at what the scorecards are gonna look like. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Down defense. Oh, that's, oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Fuller's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Solid. Unbelievable. Just a barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. over the fight is over fuller's night has ended early here unable to go
skills in the ring. Go. See how you do in the ring.
Okay, kid. Let's see how you do in the ring.
kid. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nice. 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 Let's, uh, let's see you in the ring with some real competition. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Come on, kid, you got this one.
out of the way.
Okay, kid, let's see uh, how you doing the race. Go, let's see how you do in the ring. Come on, pick it up.
Good evening, everybody, and I welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for our main event of the evening. Six rounds among light heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Irish's jab is undoubtedly his number one punch, and I know that follows your script to a T. Yeah, it makes everything happen. I mean, it takes care of defense, not only offense. It takes care of defense, keeps your guy where you want to keep him, and it sets up the power shots. Fires right back at him. Good, solid right hand lands. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Hudson's got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. Big shot there. And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. Three, four, five, six. So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is. As you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Goes up top with a right hand. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. Well, we know who that is. As for his opponent? Well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else. And what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him. But guess what? The good news, this is not a sprint. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. All intents and purposes, you're faster. Good right hand. Irish has got to feel great right now. He just scored a knockdown. Now he's got all this confidence that could carry him through. Yeah, he has a watch. He doesn't get careless, so he has plenty of confidence. If he walks in a little reckless now, that confidence could go right down the drain. Hudson's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you refrigerate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Way through this round here. Good shot to the head with that right hand. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Hudson. A little head hunting with the right. Hudson's hurt by that. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Nice block by Hudson. How about that right hand by Irish? Good work there. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Do 
it now nice and calm. We can recoup from that knockdown. Now let's do it. Coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Well targeted right hand by Irish. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Hudson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Smash to the body! Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Hudson's crushed by a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Oh! Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Boy, what guts. What guts to get up again. It gets me upset about this guy, Jones. He's got so much heart. I wish somebody taught him a little bit more. Because this guy's getting hit with punches he shouldn't get hit with. If you taught him with that... And yet another big shot comes in. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. And it's all over. Hudson's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Sometimes that's all it takes, Teddy. Just one good shot can end the evening. Let's see your skills in the ring.
to win in that ring, work hard. There you go. Pick up the pain. All right, let's see how you do with some spark. on some the ring and see it in his opponent's eyes. Irish's main weapon is his power punching, and we've seen knockout after knockout throughout his career. And to me as a trainer, the real weapon is the way he sets it up. That jab, he blinds you with that, and then bang, the power shot's right behind him. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Carries that punch away. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Irish. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. 
Come on, Tim Focus! Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Irish's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And now he's targeting upstairs. We count down the final moments of this round. There's a straight right hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that does it for this round. Back up top he goes. Comes right back at him with a left hand. May is able to avoid that punch. Scoring well with that hook by Irish. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Well played, straight nice. right hand. Nice. An accurate left by May. Irish is well off the mark that time. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Nice jab there by Irish. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Mays down, and it's as if a laser-guided missile was targeting him. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So well, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Hits him in the mug with the right. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the... What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Right to the head with that right. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence. Remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Mays sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, and one threat you could compliment him for, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is, he understands his identity, he's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Irish is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Jam, jam. A well-timed right hand by Irish. Irish's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches land. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He missed with that headshot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. He snaps. May, did you see that? Oh, and he goes down again. The question is. 
can he rise up and continue Five, on? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. Look at this. Irish is bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. And that's exactly why he packed.